Hey guys, and welcome back. Well, we have breaking news. Yes, Empire actor Jesse Smollett turned himself in uh, this morning uh, to face accusations that he filed a police report when he told authorities he was attacked in Chicago by two men who hurled racist and anti-gay slurs and looped a rope around his neck. Now, Smullett turned himself in at Central Booking, Chicago Police Spokesman Anthony Gulimi said. Now, Chicago Police Superintendent Eddie Johnson was scheduled to hold a Thursday morning news uh, conference on today to announce Smullett's arrest, and Smullett was expected to appear in court later in the day. Now, the whispers about Smullett started with reports that he had not fully cooperated with police after telling the authorities he was attacked. Then detectives in the city bristling with surveillance cameras could not find video of the beating. Later, two brothers were taken into custody for questioning, but were released after two days with police saying they were no longer a suspect. Now, following three weeks of mounting suspicions, Smullett was charged Wednesday with making a false police report, a charge that could bring up to three years in prison and force the actor, who is black and gay, to pay for the cost of the investigation and to his report on January 29th beating. Mm, mm, mm. Now, uh, in the last month, the 36-year-old Change from being the seemingly sympathetic victim of a hate crime to being accused of fabricating the entire thing. Now, the felony disorder conduct charge emerged on the same day detectives and the two brothers testified before a grand jury. Now, this is serious. Now, Smullett's attorneys met with prosecutors and police, but it was unknown what they discussed or whether Smullett attended the meeting. Now, in a statement, attorney Todd Pugh and Victor Henderson said, Smullett enjoys the presumption of innocence, particularly when there has been an investigation like this one where information, both true and false, have been repeatedly leaked. Now, the announcement of the charges followed a flurry of activity in recent days, including lengthy police interviews of the brothers, a search of their home, and the release after officers cleared them. Now, investigations uh, have not said what the brothers told the detectives or whether the evidence detectives collected, but it became increasingly clear that serious questions had arisen about Smullett's account, something police signaled Friday when they announced a significant shift in the story of the probe after the brothers were released. Now, as you know, Summit, who plays, uh, I'm sorry, Smullett, who plays a gay character on the hit Fox TV show, Empire, said he was attacked January 29th while he was walking home from a downtown Subway sandwich shop. He said the masked men beat him, made derogatory comments, and yelled, this is uh, make American great again country. Now, an apparent reference to President Donald Trump's campaign slogan, Make American Great Again, before fleeing. Hmm. Now, uh, the studio um, Fox Entertainment and 20th Century Fox Television issued a statement saying Smullett continues to be uh, a professional on the set and that his character is not being written off what we got um uh, details on earlier. Now, the series is shot in Chicago and follows a black family as they navigate the ups and downs of the recording industry. Now, the studio statement followed reports that Smullett's role was being slashed amid the police investigations. Man, I tell you, I, you know, I just don't know. I, I, I've been shy to say if he was innocent or guilty, but it really looks bad for Jesse. I mean, I think if he would have came clean, 
you know, instead of uh, fighting this, I think he would have uh, avoided the grand jury uh, investigation. I mean, don't you think, don't you think after the brothers were uh, detained and released and it was out to the public that, you know, they said that Jesse paid them to do that. I think if he would have came out then and said, you know, you know, with some tears and snot, whatever he could make up, and, you know, we would be more sympathetic. But now, I mean, his little world is crumbling. And, um, you know, it had to be some issues going on already for him to concoct such a story. So I'm going to keep him and I'm going to put him on top of the prayer list. I had Wendy Williams on it on top, but I think uh, Jesse should be on top. Hmm. How about you? All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching my video. Hope you will like, share and subscribe to my channel. And as always in party. Be blessed and let's pray for Jesse.